Yes, and I've had many people who live here in the Edmond area tell me that they cannot afford their housing. So the city of Edmond is doing what they can with this study to see how they can fix this growing problem. They've spent the last nine months studying. They're not voting in an ordinance. They're not approving any of the steps or even the recommendations. What they're saying is we have reviewed the plan with you. We've seen the final plan. Uh, we're accepting the final plan. And a housing assessment study found where Edmond is lacking in terms of living conditions, pricing, and more. Tonight, the city council will vote whether to accept the housing assessment. It's the next step in addressing a growing problem. The city is not supporting any specific type of development. What we're asking for is the, the, the chance to work with a diversity in types of, high, of housing, maybe even working with improvement on some of the older housing stocks conditions that will preserve what they have there and keep them affordable. Moving forward, the council would look at ways to rezone the city of Edmond and see where they can fill housing gaps. They say the changes will help attract more people to live in Edmond and potentially help employers. The people that they're looking to hire really can't afford to live here and I'm, we're not just talking about places like restaurants or shops. We're also talking things like fire, police, teachers. And the city council meeting is going to kick off in roughly the next 20 minutes. We're going to be hearing from members of the community who are going to share their concerns and challenges with housing, as well as the planning and development committee about how this study is going to help the city of Edmond as they move forward.